we will start our exercise, exercise 3.5. Okay, first question. Which of the following pair of linear equations has unique solution? No solution or infinite many solution. Okay. In case there is a unique solution, find it by using cross multiplication method. So, and there are four questions. I have taken only one question. So, one question that is one one question is having a pair of linear equation. The first equation is x minus 3y minus 3 equal to 0. Same thing I will write here. x x minus 3y minus 3 equal to 0. This is equation number 1. Second equation 3x minus 9y minus 9y minus 2 equal to 0. Let it be equation number 2. So, first we have to say whether this is having unique solution or not or this pair is having many solution or this pair is having no solution. So, you remember the formula we have discussed before exercise 3.3. This was the formula if a1 by a2 equal to b1 by v2, we are having unique solution. If a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2, then there will be many solution. And if a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2, but not equal to c1 by c2, then this will be parallel lines and there will not be any solution. So, same thing we will judge. Okay. Here, okay, now we will see a1, a1 equal to x is having only a first equation coefficient is 1. So, we will write a1 equal to 1. Okay, then a2, a2 equal to, a2 equal to 3 because the second equation x is having coefficient 3. So, 3. I will draw a line. Now, I will write B1. B1, the first equation y is having coefficient minus 3. So, that we will write minus 3. B2, second equation y is having that is minus 9. So, we will write minus 9. I will again draw a line. Now, the constant term C1 our uh, first constant term equal to minus 3 and C2 that is constant term in equation 2 is minus 2, right. So, it is all given. Now, we will calculate A1 by A2, A1 by A2 with this one. So, 1 by 3 1 by 3 and b1 by b2 minus 3 by minus 9 this can be 1 by 3 this cancel ok. So, what is there? But we will also consider c1 by c2 c1 by minus 3 by minus 2 minus minus getting cancelled. So, this is not equal to. So, this pair of equation is having a, this pair of equation is having may, no solution because this is parallel to each other. So, we need not to do the that is cross multiplication method to find the value of x and y there will not be any value for x and y because this line, these lines will never intersect each other. They are parallel. So, we will not have any solution. So, we will go for next question. Next question is question number 
one two and this i will comply uh, i this i will okay i will make one table and i will compile there we have solved question number 1 1 and that i will compile in one table that is question number 1 and there are four question 1 2 3 4 4 whether the question is having unique solution whether question is having many solution or whether question is having no solution so one one we have seen that this will have no solution so i will write here no solution no solution and if there is no solution then what will be the value of x it is not applicable and what will be the value of y this is not applicable okay this table we will keep and we will shift to another question that is question number 1 2 and the pair of linear equation given r okay we will write here 3x 3x plus y equal to 5 this is equation number 1 This is equation number one. The second equation is given three x. I'm sorry, this is not three. This is two x. I'm sorry, this is two x. So I have written two x. Second equation is given three x plus two y equal to that is eight. And this is equation number two. Equation number one can be rewritten as so. I am drawing a line over here, and we are rewriting equation number one and two, and that will be two x plus y minus five equal to zero, and this I am giving equation number three. Okay, and equation number two can be rewritten as here rewritten means this five I have brought to LHS. Here rewriting means three x plus two y minus eight equal to zero. This again will be given equation number four. Okay, so I have rewritten. Why I have rewritten? because now it has come to a, a standard form and here and here okay a1 equal to that is 2 a2 that is equal to 3 i will draw a line b1 equal to 1 b2 equal to 2 C one equal to minus five. C two, C two equal to minus eight. Okay, this thing is given. Now we will compare with this one. Whether this is having unique solution, whether this is having that is many solution, and whether this is having no solution. So. A one by A two, okay. A one by A two, A one by A two, and B one by B two. We will find the relation two by three equal to A one by B two, whether or not. So that will be two by three. This is replacing A one by A two, okay. And B one by B two, one by two. That is one by two, and what is this? Not equal to a one by a two is not equal to b one by b two. It means it means this will have this pair will have a unique solution. This will have a unique solution. How to find out the unique solution? Okay. So for that one, we will go to next page. 
So this is having unique solution. Unique solution. Solution I am writing in short. Okay. So now there will be value for x and there will be value for y that we have to calculate. And how we will calculate? The question is telling the cross multiplication method is to be used to calculate the value of x and y. So for that one, I have taken, okay, same equation I have taken here. Okay, this equation can be rewritten as, can be rewritten as, okay, 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 and this is equal to equation number 3. And 3x plus 2y minus 8 equal to 0, this is equal to equation number 4. Same thing I have copied from the previous page. Okay. And now, again we will write here. I am drawing a line over here and again I am writing a1 equal to 2, a2 equal to 3, b1 equal to 1, b2 equal to 2, c1 equal to minus 5, c2 equal to minus 8. This again I have written. Now, I have told that this diagram is to be remembered and value is to be put, then it will be easy to find the value of x and y and 1 that is constant. Okay, so we will use this system. I have drawn the figure for your convenience. I will only put the values. So x, y, we can find out. So we can write x, y. Okay, here it is B1, C2, B1, B1, C2, 1 into minus 8, that I will write 1 into minus 8, minus, okay, next is B2, C1, that is B2, C1, that is 2 into minus 5, that will write 2 into into minus 5. Okay, this is closed equal to y by. Okay, y by c1 a2. So c1 a2. c1 is c1 is minus 5 multiplied by a2 is 3. Okay, minus c2 a1. c2 is minus 8 a1 is 2, that will be minus 8 multiply by 2, okay, equal to 1 by 1 by A1 B2, A1 B2, 2 into 2, that is I will write 2 into 2 minus, okay, A2 B1, A2 B1, 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1. Okay. Or same thing here x by x by this will give you minus 8 minus 8 minus. This will also get, give you minus 10 and minus 10 multiplied by minus plus 10 plus 10 equal to y by now come here this will give you minus 15 minus 15 and this will give you plus 16 so plus 16 equal to 1 by 1 by okay that is 4 minus 3 4 minus 3. Okay. Same thing can be written as that is or here. 
okay i am drawing a line so that you get don't get confused or we can write x by that will give you 2 2 equal to y by 1 y by 1 equal to 1 by 1 1 by 1 okay so this one is there now by using this ratios we can calculate the value of x and y and for that one i need a space so what i will do this much portion i will remove okay and i will use this portion okay here from here x by 2 equal to 1 by 1 x by 2 equal to 1 by 1 or x equal to 2 by 1 equal to 2 okay we have calculated the value of x so same thing we will write in the table x equal to 2 now we will calculate the value of y for that one again i am erasing this data this writing and we will write y by 1 equal to 1 by 1 or y equal to 1 multiply by 1 by 1 equal to 1 and same value of y we will put in the table that is 1 ok so like that we have solved question number 1 2 now we will move on to next question that is question number one three.